So I'm still in the recovery portion of my training. Uh, we just finished up with Michigan State Tournament a couple weeks ago. Elbows are still a little sore. Um, and we also have a tournament coming up later this month. So today, like I said, just a recovery day. We're gonna work the hand, the wrist, the fingers. I got a little circuit workout set up down here and we'll see how it turns out. All right, so this tool, not nothing special, just a two by six with a couple straps wrapped around it. Basically gives you that wrist wrench type feel. I like it because it's a flat fingerboard. It's not rounded like most um, wrist wrenches. That way you really have to clamp down with the fingers. Um, my style is a hooker. I'm always clamping down with the fingers, trying to block my opponent's top roll. So this is what we're gonna start out with. After a few sets and reps, I'm already feeling this in my fingers. I'm just going to do a couple static holds that way you can get that center table strength and the strength you need at the start of a match prior to the referee saying go. So just in case you guys are wondering, there is a big difference between holding the 2x6 with flat fingers and actually using your clamping strength to hold. So that right there is using all fingers and all clamping strength. Now if you grab it with your thumb underneath, that's going to put a lot more of the pressure on your wrist. It actually makes it easier to cup. Of course that's going to work your wrist a little bit more, but right now we're working the clamping strength and we're working our fingers. So next we're going to work the gripper machine. A couple key things is when we work on the gripper machine, we don't want to squeeze and have our wrists go backwards. When we squeeze, we want to keep most of the pressure in our fingers and squeeze upwards. So these are a few of the different workouts I do with the rice bucket. Uh, the first one, I like to kind of pinch my fingers like this and go straight into the sand as deep as possible. And on the way up, you want to extend your fingers. This is an extensor workout. So second, this is probably the most simple workout in the rice bucket. Uh, just take your hand, go into the rice, and squeeze as much sand as you can, and as hard as you can.
third workout in the rice bucket. Go into the rice bucket, grab as much of the rice as you can, and now put your fist into the rice bucket, and you're gonna rotate all the way down until you reach the bottom of the rice bucket. Once I touch the bottom, I'm gonna rotate back up. Get a new grip of sand, go the opposite way. All the way until you reach the bottom of the bucket. And come back up. All right, fourth and final workout for the rice bucket today. This is gonna be mostly a cupping exercise. Take your hand, put it in a cupping motion, and you're just gonna go into the sand, and you're gonna cup with your wrist as much of the sand as you can. Last but not least, we got the Iron Mind thumb and finger machine. Uh, this can be used both ways. You can either use it with your thumbs, where you, you pinch down with your thumbs, or you can use it with your fingers. Just get under the table like Michael Todd and squeeze down with your fingers. So this brings us to the conclusion of our workout. It took about a half an hour and my forearm is pretty pumped. Um, I know you guys at home might not have all this equipment that I was using. However, you could probably go to your local hardware store, uh, buy most of it for a couple bucks. Uh, the rice bucket and sand, pretty simple. That wooden finger handle I was using, pretty simple. Uh, the other, the Iron Mine pinching tool, uh, you could buy that off their website for about a hundred bucks and the other two-handed pincher i can't remember where i got that from but it cost me about a hundred bucks as well hope you guys enjoy